Dr. Gounder, one of the groups of people I know who've reacted certainly to me um, about the notion of living with COVID is people who are living with long COVID. What's your assessment of the risk going ahead if this disease continues uh, in an endemic form or to have major surges in coming years? I do think we need to take those concerns very seriously. There's still a lot that we don't know about long COVID. Uh, the NIH has launched a large research program into long COVID, but we don't have a lot of data out of that yet. I will say what we know about vaccines and long COVID is very promising and reassuring in that people who have been vaccinated are less likely to develop long COVID if they have a breakthrough infection after vaccination. And we're also seeing increasing evidence that if you vaccinate somebody who has long COVID, that can help reorient the immune system and essentially help treat them for long COVID. But I think, you know, going back to um, why we're talking about a strategy about living with long co or living, excuse me, with COVID is that this is not a virus you can eradicate. This is not smallpox. There are non-human hosts. The incubation period is very short. Uh, smallpox is an incubation period of 14 or so days. With SARS-CoV-2, with the Omicron variant, it's two to three days. There's a lot of asymptomatic transmission with Omicron and the other SARS-CoV-2 variants that you did not see with a virus like smallpox. And strategies like what we called uh, uh, surveillance and containment or ring vaccination that were used to great success with smallpox because you could recognize somebody, even a lay person could recognize a case of smallpox, uh, alert the authorities and make sure everybody who come into contact with them were vaccinated. That is not possible with uh, an infection like SARS-CoV-2. And so the reality is, as much as we would like to jump in a time machine to October, November of 2019, that is not feasible. And so we wanted to help uh, get people thinking about what is a strategy that will allow us to coexist with SARS-CoV-2 in the long run, to make sure that we're protecting the most vulnerable um, through a public health approach, and that we reform, change our health systems so that they're not crushed by the burden of COVID in the future.